Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have to talk about some icon related things inside of FIBA 22 Ultimate Team because people are selling icons on the market right now, but that is because of speculation of prime icons and icon swaps coming very soon. Now last year, those two things were involved and kind of wrapped up inside of the freeze promo and that is expected to be this Friday as well. Since we haven't had any actual communication from EA Sports telling us when Prime Icons or when Icon Swaps is going to be. We are kind of taking cues from code updates and actual game updates. There's a new title update coming soon to FIFA 22 that EA just talked about yesterday, and that is com that is bringing some Prime Icon assets onto the game. So I want to talk about that. Also talk about the Icon market because, again, a lot of you guys have Icons in your team or you want to try some of these cards out and you're wondering how the market is going to be affected. Now, of course, Icon Swaps is something that everybody has been waiting for as well. How is the market going to be affected by Icon Swaps? I want to speak about that as well. Now, let's start with the facts, right? Let's start with the facts. This is the update that EA posted about yesterday, December 6th, a title update for FIFA. It's kind of crazy that just updating the icon, uh, prime icon player assets takes a whole update on this game. Now, I'm not sure when this, this is going to be released because I'm pretty sure that title updates are released on PC first, and then after that, um, they are added to like the Xbox and the PlayStation. But those usually those take like a few days, and I thought that usually the FIFA updates happen on like Tuesday. So I don't know if this is going to be this week or maybe next week. But adding icon player item assets. Now, what this says here is prime icon player items will start becoming available in game following a server update in the near future. So it's a server update basically. And this to me, since we haven't had any com official communication from EA Sports, this to me makes me think that uh, the icons obviously are coming very soon. The prime icons that we usually get in December, it seems like EA is going along their normal upgrade or normal like path of having the base and mid icons in packs from the start of the game until December. And then from December, we have mid and primes in packs until February when we get icon moments. So for the here and now, it's all about the prime icons that are supposedly and expected to be getting released. Now, again, with that update, I don't know when this update is going to necessarily go live. But again, like we talked about, the freeze promo last year involved prime icons released on two separate weeks, right? Two different releases over the couple weeks ahead. They took the whole roster of prime icons into packs. Now this, I think they did this for like the past two years actually, um, especially when they released like prime moments for the first time. I don't know if you guys remember that, but they kind of released them as like in, in teams or in sets. I would imagine that EA would do this again this year with prime icons, not dump them all into packs at one time, but kind of release them like, if, especially if freeze would be a two week promo, right? They drop freeze uh, the first bit at freeze one or, or and then maybe for the week two, or I just expect to, to, to see the release of prime icons spread out over a couple weeks like they did last year. So I think that is like the number one thing that is confirmed with prime icons coming soon. It could, just kind of depends on when this update happens. Again, it says uh, a server update. I don't know if a server update is different from like an actual like game update, but it says it's a title update. So I'm not sure, man. I don't know how this update's going to be pushed out. Could icons be coming this Friday? Might it be next Friday? I, we're really not sure about the exact time. We'll probably learn about that soon. Um, but one thing I think you can really start to look for again is it, it says adding prime icon assets. Now, like right now, when you search the transfer market, if I search like Maradona, it only shows up his 95 and his uh, 91 rated cards, right? Diego Maradona, 95 and 91. When this update happens, you will know when uh, prime icons are about to be added into the game because you will actually see Diego's uh, prime version, the overall will be here in the store, right? So, or if we, we talk about like a Pele, right? Pele right now has the 95 and 91 as well. You will see his prime added on. It'll be like one of the search things that you can see here. 
uh, on the game, like R9 as well, right? You only see the 94, and then you, you go down, you see the 90. You're going to see the 96 R9 show up here in the transfer market search before they are released, right? That's what it means when they're adding those assets because every single icon has like a write up and like a little bio tab, right? The icon profile. So, those assets they're talking about is like this story, the career, and these kind of stats in here. That's what that stuff is. So, when that update actually happens, then you will know, all right, we're getting very close to prime icons being on the market because you'll be able to search them here in the uh in, in the transfer market section so again when you start to see that that's when you'll know that prime icons are literally about to be here now one thing i want to talk about too is there's a new icon that is supposedly going to be released when they drop these primes and this icon has already been seen on the web app and that is di stefano alfredo di stefano is the card that uh, people, it looks like it's on the web app, right? I don't know if the, I haven't checked my web app or my companion app to see if it's actually on there, but I've been seeing a lot of tweets about this. And Di Stefano was an icon that was talked about at the beginning of the year um, with the new icons that we got this year, like with Wayne Rooney. It was kind of like, are we going to get Di Stefano at the beginning of FIFA 22 or will they do another like mid year release? They've done mid year releases the past two years with Raquel May in FIFA 20, and then last year in FIFA 21, we had David Beckham, and this year it looks like Di Stefano is that guy. Now, earlier this year, if you guys remember, we had actual stats added to the code for Di Stefano, his 90 rated card, and his 92 rated card. Uh, I believe that this one is the 92. 95 acceleration, 94 sprint speed, 92 finishing. I mean, this card, 90 agility, 91 balance, 89 stamina, 88 strength, the short passing of 90, 85, long passing, 89 reactions, 85 composure. This card looks disgusting, right? This card looks ridiculously good. Uh, so I do believe that this Di Stefano is going to be released into the game in the next couple of weeks as well. Since it's showing up again here inside of the web app, I imagine that that is part of the title update that is going to be released and you'll be able to see all of the prime icons like searchable on the market. So that is very exciting because uh, I know I saw a concept tweet this morning of a Di Stefano card. Like just just imagine this sort of card, right? These are these are stats or predictions, of course, right? But like, this looks disgusting, right? It looks absolutely incredible. So um, I think what you see added to the code here, or what you see talked about with like in that past tweet that I just looked at with the 90 and the 92, uh, they would still just like they did with Beckham last year, they would still release. Uh, a base and a mid version of the Stefano uh, as well, or actually maybe just a mid and a prime version, right? It might not be a base, of course, because the base would not be in packs. If they release the Stefano as a prime right away, they would release his mid and prime and no base, right? Because base would be out of packs. So that's the new information about prime icons. And of course, um, a new icon added to the code with the Stefano. Now let's talk about the icon market for a little bit, right? I want to take a look year over year, especially if a lot of you guys have icons and what can you expect with these prices. Now, in the past couple of days, we've seen specifically the top tier, right? Like the most elite tier of some icons in this game have already started to drop off a little bit. If we take a look at some FIFA 22 icons, let's look at some base cards, right? From the like panic selling that we have had here, you've seen some prices drop. D uh, Zidane is 2.1 mil. I'm actually going to sort by all icons so I can see mids as well. Um, Ronaldo, right? We took a look at this even a couple videos ago. R9 is 9.5 mil. He's literally down a million coins. Uh, Black Friday, you saw a nice bounce back on the market in a lot of these icons, but most of your elite tier ones like mid hullet, 5.7 mil, 5.8 mil. He was 6.8 mil last week. So that's where you've seen the, the largest amount of drop off. But like, let's say somebody like, um, let's go to a little more like of a mid tier icon. Let's look at like uh, Blanc, right? Mid or base Blanc, 860K. He was in the 700s at Black Friday, rebounded very nicely to almost 900,000 coins. And he's now down a little bit, right? I still think there's going to be more icon panic selling, especially as we get more official announcements and as we start to see the prime icon assets, right, pop up in the game. So I think the icon market still has further to drop, right? If you take a look at the index, we were at 77 points on the weekend of Black Friday. We rose up very nicely afterwards with all the coin injection, so many people getting coins. 
85 points on the index and now we're back down to 81.6 so i still think that this icon index is going to continue to drop uh, and i think that it is going to go lower than 77 um i don't know how the prime icons being added like affects the index icon i'm not entirely sure about that we'll figure that out uh coming soon of course when they drop those um just for this flip bin graph and purposes like that but I do expect icons to drop off a bit more because uh, that is something that you often see in December as well. Take a look at Pushkas, right? I'm, I'm going to look at some icons from last year and kind of what to expect uh, with some of these cards. Just like all cards in this game, icons kind of follow the year-long trend of starting pretty expensive and then going down in price. Now, what makes it a bit interesting is with some of these very meta cards like a Pushkas, you see their price actually rebound back very, very significantly after um team of the year right and that's where, where we're gonna look kind of bigger picture here for a little bit a lot of these icons really rebound uh in, in after team of the year because they're out of packs right and people get a lot of coins uh during after team of the year as well we have a nice market rise post team of the year like we usually do after black friday so here's last year with pushkas right this is baby base pushkas he went from 1.95 up to 2.1 so like 150 maybe 200,000 coin rise at the at the peak of his rise post black friday and then boom early december icon swaps prime icons rumored right they're coming out 1.76 mil so he drops off 400k right as a two mil card drops off 400k almost uh down into the earlier stages mid stages of december prime icons come out and, you know, we have the foot freeze promo going on. There's a lot going on, right? A ton of SBCs, coins are being taken off the market. So this is not just all panic selling. It's also the fact uh, that people, the market is being devalued, right? The market is losing coins because it's such an SBC based promo and foot freeze. I know there's cards in packs, but it's all about the SBCs during that time. And you also had icon swaps again, like we looked at in this freeze promo so then you see pushkas reach a low of like 1.76 and he rebounds back into the 18s before getting really low again before team of the year in late december same thing happened with Thierry Henry, right you see a nice rise uh, post black friday from 650,000 coins 640s all the way up about 710 or maybe a little above and then boom into december drops down to 500k rebounds back to about like 560 570 and then stays low until after team of the year when i believe if we zoom out here a little bit more on this flipping graph post team of the year let's go to like july 1st or whatever post team of the year boom a nice rise back up to 600,000 coins post team of the year after that market rise happens so for a lot of your meta icons i'm talking meta popular especially if, if like a base card for that specific item is uh either a position change or it's just very valuable, right? Like base Blanc. This is this is a card that always does decently well um, after a panic sell. Like 862k for this base Blanc. He was 900,000 coins post Black Friday. I mean, he was 790k before in the Black Friday sell-off. Uh, so the the reason why this Blanc always does well is because he's a favorite in game. Even though his stats don't look that insane, people love using this guy as a CDM. And his other cards are all they're all center back items, right? And that brings some value to this card because it's different, right? I think of like Mateus as well. And and I'll also some people just prefer the base version over a mid version, and that's going to be a factor in whether some of these cards bounce back after this panic selling as well. So like base Mateus is a center back, and his mid and prime are. Uh, in a midfield right center mid cdms so that impacts these cards on their bounce back a little bit but you know a lot of these cards i think are going to continue dropping i think you're going to see a lot of icons continue to be sold off i mean even if prime icons come this friday uh you're going to see some more panic right because people are expecting the newer versions of these cards to come and you know with some of this panic selling is it really is it really warranted is there a reason to panic sell your icons right now well to be honest I don't say there's a reason to panic sell, but of course, like we've talked about, post Black Friday is always a great time to get some of these icons out because we head into December, we head into team of the year with primes coming out. You always see these cards drop in value because of more pack supply and because of you know people upgrading to the mid or the prime version on, on, on specific icons. So I do think that you will see more drops on these icons when the primes get nearer to coming out. Um, and with the market, you know, the market's still very high. I think you're going to see the devaluing of the market in the next couple of weeks. 
and that's going to drop some of these prices uh, a bit more. But I also think you're going to see some rebounds, right? This ha this happens so much, especially on some of these rare, like like Blanc, like Del Piero. Wow, uh, Gerinch has 1.35, right? That's down like 150k for him today. Um, this is a Don that we were looking at, the, even this Pushkas this year. So uh, looking at a lot of these cards, I think these prices have more to go. But I also think when primes get released, some of these cards are going to bounce back. Even like an Eto card, right? Eto is like what, 1.3 mil? Yeah, 1.3 mil. He was in the low 1.2 range before Black Friday and even went to the 1.4s in the rise after. Eto might be 1.2 mil again in the next couple of weeks. But again, when the primes come out, they're so freaking expensive. And, and that is why you see a lot of these cards, they get panic sold, they get low, and then people are like, oh man, I can't afford the Prime, and the Prime is like barely on the market at all, so I'm just gonna go back and buy the card that I had before. So that is, that is the thing, right? And, and that's why there is a bit of a bounce back after all this panic selling. But again, like we looked at on the base Pushkas price, you're gonna have another period of panic again as we head into team of the year, um, and there's more supply on icons this year as well. Like that's why we we look at base Pushkas from last year and he was 1.8 mil. Base Pushkas this year is 600K cheaper, right? 600,000 coins cheaper. So I don't, I, I know there's more supply on these icons because the pack weight is higher this year, but I still think the price movements are gonna be the same. And the prime icons day one are still gonna start off stupid expensive. Now EA might supply them a little bit extra day one, um, but I still think if you have a prime Pushkas that comes out on day one that is, you know, five or six million coins when you have the the mid push costs like 1.6 or 1.7 mil and the base is like 1.2 in FIFA this year, then you're still going to see a lot of people, oh goodness, I cannot go forward a five million coin card day one. So I, I still think you're going to see about the same market movements as you did last year. It just all depends on how much panic selling there is and on what specific cards that that panic selling, um, you know, is is a profitable flip. But I do think that a lot of these, even the base cards, they're going to drop lower, right? I mean, we talked about dropping lower into team of the year time frame. I think that almost every single base icon in the game is going to drop lower from where it is now, even with this prime icon panic, it's probably all going to drop lower into January when we have team of the year. And then as those cards go out of packs, the base cards and the mid is the mids as well. The, the, all this stuff goes for the mids. Uh, like, you, you know, we talk about mid Eto, or we can talk about uh, mid Pushkas, mid Maldini, right? A very popular center back in this game, very expensive card. He is down in price, 2.3, 2.2 mil. He was selling at 2.6 post Black Friday for a short amount of time. So um, this is would be another card where you're gonna see some panic selling. The Prime Maldini is gonna come out. It's gonna be stupid expensive and people are gonna go back and buy the mid if they panic sold it. But again, I think that prices are gonna continue to drop. You're gonna have a couple rebounds in there when Primes are out, when people realize they can't afford the Prime icon that's brand new that's super expensive. And then you're gonna see more drops continuing into team of the year. That's kind of like a longer term outlook for your base and mid icons. Your primes are gonna start really high and then probably drop down with pack supply, get low during team of the year and rise a little bit after team of the year, uh, kind of like normal. So that's kind of your a very short summary of a prime icons price outlook uh, during this game. And then we have to talk about icon swaps as well, right? We have some packs that are added to the code. Uh, and I want to just say a few things about icon swaps. I know so many people are looking forward to this. And a lot of people don't think that icon swaps is going to drop until the season ends, right? Because as you can see here, 15 days left on season two, uh, which is going to basically take us until right up until Christmas. Um, they might not drop, drop swaps until uh, the season ends, but I don't think that would be something that would stop them from dropping it in the game unless they want to delay it until then. I mean, I 100% believe that they would be prepared to drop icon swaps in the milestone tab. Again, there is like you in the milestone tab, it's not locked, right? In the daily objectives tab, usually this like all resets with the new season and icon swaps takes a long time, right? Again, they dropped it last year in early or mid December. And I believe that the swaps tokens were available for grinding until like February, right? So I think the first set of swaps tokens, if it is gonna be released before season two ends, 
would be placed under the milestones tab. So I just think that, you know, I was thinking this before that they might not drop swaps until the season ends. Um, but I still think there's a probability that it could drop before then. They could just drop it under the milestones tab. So I want to talk about that. But we have the packs. Like, we don't have all the packs added to the code. Like, I remember we don't have an 83 times 25. We don't have like an 81 times 25. Those packs have not yet been added to the code yet. And I think that would be a clear sign that Icon Swaps is very close. Um, because, of course, we have had like a mid icon pack, uh, we've had a base icon pack. Um, and we have a couple other like upgrade sort of packs that maybe couldn't be involved with icon swaps. Um, but as of right now, I think we see, need to see a few more packs added to the code. That might be something that we see in the next week, right? We might see some more packs added to the database, like that 81 times 25, the 82 times 25, or you know 83 times 10 if they're going to go that route and whatever type of like packs that they want to use for the upgrades. Unless they're not going to do that this year and they really want to make icon swaps about icons then maybe they won't have those packs but i would i would still look for more code updates and uh, stuff to that until we actually get icon swaps i feel like we don't have uh, as much or enough information we have more information about prime icons right now than icon swaps so that's kind of my two cents about icon swaps but i know a lot of you guys are looking forward to that so i hope that it comes out soon because that's just a fun time on the game in general anyway um and you know with just so much grinding and availability there through the objective tab so hopefully that helps a little bit with icons because i know we've seen some movements downward on price already but for most of the icons on this game like again i use this block as a great example most icons have really they really haven't dropped that much but the prices are just starting to drop and i think they're going to continue to drop in the next like week or so until we get the primes um we're just kind of on the beginning now of course for those meta icons like we talked about r9 and hold it this stuff has dropped a lot right and it's probably going to drop a little bit more still um but for most of your icons that most of you guys are going to be using like let's say you're using uh i don't know like a cantana let's say like you know cantana or you know canavaro right Maybe Cannavaro Baby is an item that you have. Some of these center back icons have gotten hit extra hard because of the center back special cards we've had in this game with so many of them with, this, with the new Tiago Jallo and we've had, um, of course, the Sule and the PK SBC. So let's push these cards down further. But uh, I think there's still more dropping to come on icons in the next month uh, and, you know, more fluctuations as well. So it's going to be a great time to trade with some of these cards as we anticipate primes being added to the game very soon along with icon swap so that's the double upload for today boys i hope we did enjoy and i hope it helps you understand icons a little bit more and we're going to talk more about icons as we get more information but this is kind of a preliminary video since we still don't know a lot as we continue to figure things out we will see how things kind of roll out ea's way but again that's the video for today if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.